Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT, in short FIOT. In today's class, we are going to see about Arduino programming. So from the Arduino programming aspect, we are going to see the first one, Arduino programming structure. So the Arduino programs can be divided into three main parts. That is structure, values. Values means it's a combination of both variables as well as constant as well as functions. Okay. So these software structures consist of two main functions. So setup function as well as loop function. In the yesterday's class, also, while explaining the Arduino IDE software, I have shown you the two uh, functions, right? So in order to write any program in the Arduino software, these two functions are very much useful. And once you start using the functions, the initialization and declaration of uh, variables and constants and all those things are commonly in any kind of programming, okay? So let's see what is this setup function and let's see what is this loop function, okay? So if you see the screenshot of this Arduino software over here, as soon as we open a new file, okay? We can see these type of two functions like void setup, okay? As well as void loop, okay? So these two functions are very much mandatory in order to program an Arduino uh, uh, program, okay? For any type of Arduino controller, okay? So let's see what are this. See, the setup function is called when the sketch starts. Okay, so like uh, once you open a sketch, like it's an editor where we write the program. Okay, so the setup function is very much called whenever this particular sketch starts. Okay, so the, in this particular setup, it is used to initialize the variables, pin modes. So pin means whatever the Arduino pins are there, either that is used for input pins or output pins. We are going to uh, um, uh, declare whether those uh, pins are inputs, modes or else output modes. And also uh, it is used to uh, for uh, utilizing or downloading the libraries as, as well. Okay, so most of the complex programs will be have an inbuilt library. So these setup function can also be used for using these particular kind of libraries, okay? So the setup function will only run once, okay? So after each and every time we, re we reset the Arduino board, first it will check all the setup functions. What are the variables initialized, okay? What type of pin modes are there? How many inputs are there? How many outputs are there? If there are any libraries included to that particular program, that also will be checked. So this will be done only for every power up okay once suppose you are restarting the Arduino board in the middle okay again all these things will be checked if at all there are any uh, missing of the variables or the declaration or any kind of libraries it will clearly show errors at the time of compilation now coming to the void loop so what is the purpose of void loop means the loop function does precisely what the name suggests loop means what it keeps on repeating the same thing okay so whatever the uh, logic we write or whatever the instructions we give in the loop function, okay, it keeps on uh, repeating the same instruction to get executed, okay? So as soon as you upload the code into the particular um, controller, according to the loop, okay, whatever the instruction has been written, it can be any kind of if condition or it can be anything, okay? Or uh, switch case or anything, okay? Once the instruction has been written in the loop, it will be keep on uh, repeating, okay, till a particular time, okay. Now coming to the Arduino data types, okay. So mostly it is somewhat the data types what you have seen in the previous C language, everything. So most of the in Arduino also will be writing with respect to controller means we can consider this as an embedded C program, okay? So void, boolean, char, unsigned char, byte, int, unsigned int, word, long, unsigned long, short, float, double array, string char array, string object, all these are different types of data types which we'll be using during the Arduino programming, okay? So let's see one by one very quickly. So the void keyword, is used only in function declarations, okay? So uh, it indicates that the function is expected to 
return no information. This is the most famous, you might have already know this void. If there is a void in particular between a uh, before a particular function, it does not re return any kind of information or the value. Okay. So this is how we write with respect to void loop or something. Okay. Coming to the Boolean. A Boolean holds one of two values. It can be a uh, true or false kind of thing. Okay. So it mostly uh, occupies a byte of a memory. Okay. So it's for example, a Boolean value can be false, a Boolean state can be true. It's how we represent in the form of program. Okay. Coming to the character, it's a data type used for the alphabets. Okay. Or some sort of strings. Okay. Like ABC or some uh, these things, uh, string types, words. Okay. Small, small words and all those things. Unsigned care. Okay. So unsigned car is a data type that occupied one byte of memory. It is also a kind of uh, a data type only. Okay. Byte, it stores an 8-bit unsigned numbers. All these are different types of data types. Int, in, integer is one of the famous one, right? Integers are the primary data types for number storing. Okay. So it stores 16-bit of uh, data or the values. So this is how it will be. Int with variable number with some value unsigned int okay so it is uh, almost same as the int okay and they store two byte value and word okay so a word stores a 16 bit unsigned number okay so it differs to the board to board if at all you consider you know or under at mega words okay it, it a word stores a 16 bit unsigned number or else if at all there are in duo or zero ordino boards, it stores a 30 bit unsigned number. Okay. So long. Okay. So it's in long variables are extended size variables for number storage. Okay. It almost stores 32 bit unsigned long. Okay. So unsigned long variables are extended size of variables where it is also used for the storage purpose. We have a short, okay. Short is a 16 bit data type, okay. So, float, float, we already know it is also one of the famous data type which is used to uh, store the uh, decimal value numbers, okay, like point or kind of thing. And double, okay. So, double is in, uh, it occupies almost double of a normal integer or a floating point number, okay. All these are Arduino data types, most uh, mostly used in the Arduino programming. Okay. Now coming to the Arduino I/O function libraries, these are the major important things which we need to consider. Okay. So the function libraries, what we have will be pin mode function. Okay. So pin mode function is uh, included in the void setup uh, function where pin mode is in the sense whatever the pins we are trying to use, whether it is an input mode or output mode, we need to uh, declare in that particular void set of functions. If you see the program over here, so we are uh, uh, with using an integer data types, we have initialized two variables, okay? Button is equal to five, LED is equal to six, okay? So button is considered as the input for the Arduino and LED is considered as the output for the Arduino, okay? So once you need to press the button, such that the LED glows, okay? So if so, in the void setup, what we need to do, whatever the pin number five is assigned to a button, it should be uh, initialized as an input pin, okay? So pin mode, pin mode function should be in such a way that pin mode, button comma, button is what type for an Arduino input, right? So it is given as input, okay? Next, pin mode. LED, LED is what type of mode, uh, pin mode, it is an output pin mode, okay, so it is considered as the output pin mode, this is how we uh, write the instructions with respect to the pin mode function, okay, this, this is how a syntax will be there, pin mode, that particular pin, you can also directly give the pin number, or you can also assign the variable, whatever you have used with respect to mode, here mode indicates either it is input or output. Okay, so all these things we will be learning whenever you are uh, writing the program. In the further classes, I will be showing it practically.
okay next comes the digital write function okay so digital write in function is the in uh, is uh, is like uh, we are making a particular pin either high or low okay is high means logic high low means logic low okay so if you uh, make the logic high any pin or if you make the digital write as logic high that particular pin will be giving you almost some sort of energy through that particular pin such that you can use it okay if at all you are making it low it gives a zero volts okay so so if you see over here see if if you see the program again if digital read of button is low that means if the button is pressed what should happen digital write wherever this particular led is connected that should become high that means led turns on after 500 milliseconds okay now after this uh, it's a kind of half of a second okay so after that what happened the led should be again glow uh, should be again off okay so digital right led should be off up to again 500 milliseconds okay so again what it should be do it should continues within this particular loop okay so led becomes high we are digitally writing LED is high after a delay, LED is low. After a delay, again, LED is high. Okay. That is what we are making. Actually, this uh, whole setup will be in the void loop. Okay. Let's see. This is void loop. Now, the next function is the analog read function. Okay. So, using an analog read function, we can uh, read the particular analog uh, value. Okay. So, from a sensor or a kind of thing. Okay. So, if you see over here, analog read of pin is the analog read function syntax. If you see this program in the loop, we have seen value is equal to analog read of analog pin. Okay. And once you read that particular analog pin value, we are serially printing that particular value. Okay, this is how we are showing. This is how to read the analog values. This is also one of the function. Okay, so these are the main uh, syntax as well as functions with respect to the Arduino IO function libraries. Okay.